activity of class 9th which has objective to verify experimentally the different criteria for congruency of triangles using triangle cutouts materials required are drawing sheet scissor geometry box pencil sketch pen colored glaze papers methods of method of construction take a drawing sheet of a convenient size make a pair of triangles a b c and d e f such that a b equals to d e b c equals to e f and c a equals to f d make a pair of triangle g h i and j k l such that j h is equal to j k g i is equal to j l and angle i j h is equal to l j k now we will take triangle PQR and STU such such that angle Q is equal to angle T, angle R is equal to angle U and RQ is equal to UT. Now we will take uh, triangle YXZ and MLN where X is equal to 90 degree and L is equal to 90 degree. Also, y z is equal to y x is equal to m l z y is equal to n m. Demonstration. Now we can see that the triangle D E F is completely covering the triangle A B C. So we can say that triangle A B C is congruent to triangle D E F. This is called S S S congruency criteria. Also, we can now say that angle D is equal to angle A, angle E is equal to angle B and angle F is equal to angle C. And for the SAS congruency criteria of triangle, if we see that these two triangles are congruent as GH is equal to JK, angle G is equal to angle J, JI, GI is equal to JL. Uh, here we have triangle GHI which is congruent to triangle JKL. This is called the SAS congruency criteria. At this all corresponding parts of the triangle are same. Now by ASA congruency criteria of triangle. Here we have triangle STU which is fully covering the triangle PQR. Here we have angle T equals to angle Q and angle U is equal to angle R. So, and this RQ is equal to UT. So, we can say that PQR triangle is congruent to triangle STU. This is called the ASA congruency criteria of triangle and by this corresponding parts of the triangle are equal. By this, we can say that all corresponding parts of a congruent triangle are equal. By RHS congruency criteria of triangle, we have triangle LMN and triangle XYZ such that angle L is equal to angle X each 90 degree, XY is equal to LM and yz is equal to mn so we can say that triangle xyz is congruent to triangle lmn this is called the rhs congruency criteria of triangle also by this all corresponding parts of these triangles are equal for sss the actual measurement is like this and for sas asa and RHS the actual measurement is like this
application of this activity this criteria are useful in a number of problems in geometry these criteria are also useful in solving some practical problems such as finding width of a river without crossing it